Hello lords and ladies and welcome to a somewhat brand new let's play of Mountain Blade Warband. Now I'm sure many of you are thinking, Kaiser, what is this? Where's Gekko Kujo? And here we come to why I say somewhat new. As you may have noticed the title, this is basically Gekko Kujo but with an expansion. An expansion I was unaware of when I began the Let's Play, but I was told about in the comments of the original. Since we are luckily not yet really that far along the original Let's Play, I decided to play the expanded version instead, as I gave the mod a read and I really, really like what I see. This will, however, be something new for me as well, so we'll go through the learning phase together. If you have any sort of feedback or suggestions, if you see me do something wrong or know of some thing that I should know of, please do leave it in the comments, because as aforementioned, this is somewhat new for me as well, so the quicker I get the feel for it, the better. With all that said though, let's hit new game and begin our new adventure. Here we are. I'm very sorry about that cut guys, but the map initializing was taking a very very long time, as this is the first time I am booting this game. So here we go. Welcome adventurer to Gekko Kujo. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the Sengoku era, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals, and in fact, may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Select your character's gender. Male clan... Oh wow, so we can just straight up become a clan leader as well. But that's that, that's not that much of a challenge, I think. Like, sure, keeping a clan together and successfully ordering everything around can be a challenge, but actually getting there is even better, in my opinion. So we're gonna be a male. You were born years ago in the land of the rising sun. Your father was. Our father was. Hmm. What did we go with last time? I can't remember, but let's say that we were a hunter. You were the son of a family who lived off the woods doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching whenever things got tight. Winter was never a good time for your family as the cold took animals and people alike, but you always lived to see another dawn, though your brothers and sisters might not be so fortunate. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... As a mountain child. Nah. We'll go with... Shop assistant, Daimyo's attendant... Sure, let's go with Damio's attendant. As a boy growing out of childhood, you were sent to live in one of the castles of the land. There, your first lessons were in humility as you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household. But from their shogi games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and co courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You even learned from the rough games of the other children who formed cliques and fought amongst themselves under the noses of their elders. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became... We became... Uh... Do we become a, an armed retainer? Like, I know that the next choice is gonna be why you became an adventurer, and I kind of like the idea of us... Being an armed retainer in the provinces at first, and then something happens to us, we'll choose that when we get there, but something happens to us and we just strike out, we cut all ties to our current clan, and just become an adventurer. I like that idea, I really, I really do. Let's go with that. An armed retainer in the provinces. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were taken under a, a daimyo's banner, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were introduced in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the Bushido ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. 
Old warriors' stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guilt as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... So let's just go with being forced out. Something bad happened, maybe we owed someone a gambling death, maybe... I don't know, we challenged somebody to a duel and just Miyamoto Musashi, the guy, um, basically dishonorably defeated him and were chased out. So yeah, let's go. Being forced out of your home. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. However, you know you cannot go back. There's nothing to go back to. Whatever home you may have had is gone now and you must face the fact that you're out in the wide, wide world alone to sink or swim. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Uh, allow me to quit without saving. Now, even last time I mentioned how if something goes terribly wrong, I would rather be able to save. This time, since this is an unproven mod, in my eyes as well, uh, at least, because I haven't even tried it yet, I really don't want to risk any sort of random crashes. So, we will go with the allow me to quit without saving. Alright, alright, alright. Name, as we said before, we will be keeping our previous character, Otto. Uh, same plan as before, so 15, 15, 15, and everything else into Charisma. So, let's make all of this dividable by... Three, so two into Strength, one into Agility, one into Intelligence, there we go. So strength, let me see, inventory management, that's always wonderful to have. The more inventory you can carry about, the better. Uh, pathfinding, spotting, trainer, do we have any, wait, oh, we have tracking, right, because of our hunting uh, background. Riding, athletics, weapon master, power draw. Uh, I would like us to be a bit tougher, because I know that certain blows are just deadly immediately. And as well as have some power strike. The more damage we can dish out, the better. But as in the previous Let's Play as well, we will be focusing more on archery. I love archery, and if you are a true samurai, you have to know how to shoot a bow. Alright. I'll see you guys in a little bit, as soon as I'm done with this face. Welcome back guys, here we go, this is going to be our new auto. Now they did not have the hair piece that the original Gekko Kujo mod had, but this is, this is close enough to what we were, I believe. So here we go, we're done with that. Japan. A land torn between rival daimyo, battling each other for supremacy. A haven for samurai and ronin. Cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Japan and its provinces, you... Uh, so plan is the same, I believe we'll just straight up start off in Hakata on Kyushu just like last time because Kinai, Kanto both have very, very dangerous uh, mobs, well not mobs, but uh, rebel uh, units, rebel parties going around. Those are really not fun to meet, even in later stages of the game. Um... I guess we could go to Hirosaki, but I don't think there's much to do there. I mean, not many villages uh, to, uh, close enough to each other, sorry about that. Uh, Niigata in Echigo province, I mean, that's uh, at the Uesugi lands, close to the Takeda, I think. But, I mean, I, I guess that's a pretty good start point as well. Sure, let's go with that. You have arrived at in Niigata, at the north end of Echigo province. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Niigata, 
and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets which are still deserted. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Alright, let's go. So, so far everything looks the same. Wow, the clothes though. Ooh. Right, I increased, <laughs> I might have um, doomed myself with that, but I increased the difficulty of the AI both in combat and on the world map. So we'll see how that goes. If it gets too ridiculous or anything like that, we can always lower it down a bit. But for now, let's go with this. Are you all right? And yes, this guy will have the same accent. Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same about uh, for the Ronin. That's one less murderous maniac to trouble our streets, although the gods know he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the streets, and then, finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Once again, I have to go to him, Hazo. Now, let me explain my proposition. I have tried to live my life while ignoring the samurai, even in these turbulent times. I figured that if I kept my head down, none of their plots and or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They... they killed my brother. Minemaru. He was a hothead for sure. Maybe he showed disrespect to a haughty lordling. I don't know what actually happened, but it doesn't matter to me whether he brought it upon himself or not. Nobody should ha be so exalted that they could kill a brother, son or father just because they weren't groveled to as they wished. This is no way for the rest of us to live. My other brother, Horenbo, tried to in investigate the murder, but he's disappeared since. I originally feared the worst, but I've just come across a rumor that he's still that says he's still alive as a captive. So here's what I ask of you. Gather a small party, track down who has taken him, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get Horembo home safe. In return, you'll earn my eternal gratitude and a large sum of money. What do you say? Sure, I'm interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself though. If you try and take on the samurai and his retainer single-handedly, you will surely use your head. You must round up a group of volunteers and form a band. There's always a few boys in the villages around here looking for good work that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So, take this purse of 100 mon. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these scoundrels. Now from what I remember, we're gonna need more than just five. <laughs> Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the inn here in Niigata after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. Alright. So, Niigata. We don't have a horse, once again. Alright, let's check the map. Let's see what changed. Hirosaki. Nambu clan, that's the same. Kubota, Mogami, same. Yonazawa, Date, yep. This should be Uesugi. Come on, yeah. Kofu, Takeda. I like that they are now red. Like, that was their original color. That's the color of their armor. Historical armor, at least. Satake, uh, Hojo, Satomi, Imagawa, Hamamatsu. Wait, so what's new? Did the Imagawa exist? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure if the Imagawa existed or not. Uho, Saito clan. Okay, so this is new. I believe this city in general. Pretty sure there was no city over there. There were a bunch of castles and everything, but no city. Kyoto, Nara, Ashikaga, Shogunate. Right, this used to be Miyoshi. 
which are right here. Excellent. Okay, so that's one of the added clans. Ikoiki, that's the same. Imahama, Sakura. Uh, Akamatsu clan. That, I believe, is also new. I believe this all used to be the Urakami clan's uh, lands. That's another new town. Izumo. Mori. Alright, yeah, you're as strong as you're supposed to be. Uh, you should be the Chosokabe. Yep. Ito. Oh, this is another new one. Alright, alright. I'm liking it. So, Otsumo. Otsumo. And this is the Ito clan, who were also pretty strong in their own right at first, yeah. Though, if they really wanted to go all historical, then I would have put Kumamoto in over here under the Sanada clan. But, eh, fair enough. No, wait, not Sanada. Um, Sagara, that's the clan. Uh, Alright, so, uh, wait, let me just find myself. I almost lost myself. Right, so Niigata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, wait, that's... I... Whoa! Pathing! I chose this place because I thought it was gonna be safe, but we're already being chased by looters. Alright. And is it just me, or is the speed on the map reduced? It actually might be. Recruit volunteers. One Uesugi villager. Just one, huh? Hmm. Alright, let's head to Yoita. And Kashiwazaki. I'll just increase the speed a bit because, yeah, I think they actually decreased the speed on it. Four Uesugi villagers. That's more like it. And just for good measure. Great Lord Uesugi. Alright. There we go. I believe ten would be enough. What's our gold count? Uh, okay, so this is a new UI. Not sure if I'm liking it or not. You need to learn prisoner management skill. Yeah, I know that. Company, we have... Th we can have 37. Alright, so far so good. Character sheet, that should be the same. Yeah, that's more or less the same. Uh, reports. Is there anything new here? Prosperity, faction courtship, known lords. Budget, companion mission, party size, character report, troop tree... Oh! We can actually view troop trees here. Not sure if Gekko Kuja had that. It might have had it, but I just had a table open next to me from the very beginning. And we can even pick... Nice. Wait. Oh, okay. So, G Samurai. They can become Hatamoto Cavalry and Guards. Umayumi. So, basically, a horse archer. Is how you would translate that. Alright, alright. So they added a third great troop type. Let me check what the Oda have, just for fun. Hatamoto Cavalry, so that's the same. Hatamoto Gunner, that's the same. And U Umayumi. Okay, so everybody, or, or well, at least these two. Let me check, I don't know, just randomly Chosokabe. Yeah, Umayumi. Alright, so everybody has... At least, uh, that's how it seems. Everybody has a horse archer Hatamoto. Let, let's, let's say that they're Hatamoto. Not sure. If they're not actually on Hatamoto level, please do correct me. View the world map where you all... View... What do you mean, all items? Oh. Okay. So, we can... We can basically check what the maximum level of a certain item is, so that we know if we found the perfect item for us to buy. I or not. Jesus. <laughs> that scared me. But alright, there's just four of them. Surrender or die. I can't finish the first episode without a fight, guys. So let's go. I like the new clothes. They're much less simple looking, and I love it. Why, why did you guys stop? Keep going. I have no other weapon other than this... Uh, I didn't even check, is it a katana or a wakizashi? I think it's a katana. Wow, they're far away. 
Also, yeah, I read that they added a few uh, new battle maps, so that's also nice. Meaning it'll get repetitive a bit later. <laughs> Not as soon. Oh, new yells! I love it, they're actually yelling Japanese things instead of the vanilla Mountain Blade. <laughs> Don't forget who did this, nice. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Let's get some ragged field clothes. Yeah, I was thinking that it looked like field clothes. Nice! Alright, so does anything upgrade us? Well, I mean the Sugegasa does. Tattered. And it actually shows that it's tattered. Nice. Like, it has a different, uh... Is it a sprite? I'm not sure of... No, texture. Texture, that's the word I'm looking for. It has a different texture than the good field clothes. Tattered. Ragged. Nice. Alright, that's about it. What we can do here. There was another... You take a side path away from the main body of your party in order to protect your flank. Out of nowhere, you notice movement in your periphery. Okay, so this is completely new. Do I investigate or I shouldn't? I'm curious what it is. You encounter a running adventurer doing something obscene with some Ezo warriors. You! We were looking for you. Um... Wait, why were you looking for me? I'm confused. I'm sorry to have to kill you, I am not scared. Uh, okay, I'm not scared. Please forgive me, I do not wish to kill you. You get ready to fight the running adventurer and Ezo warriors. By myself?! Uh, wait, where are they? Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's one down. Yep. Ooh! I hear things being thrown at me still. Oh, there you are. Ronin Adventure. I'm gonna kill you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard you, you were loud enough. Someone's Nagamaki and Ten Mon were salvageable from the mess. <laughs> Everything else was just a big mess, I see. Alright. Uh, I have to admit though, I am not sure what a Nagamaki... Oh, this is a Nagamaki, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. It's always better to have something else on you as well. And we leveled up! Excellent! Excellent. We will not be going into the Charisma Tree just yet. Uh, we will go into Intelligence first so that we get a few more skill points to play around with. So Iron Flash... Uh, flesh. Iron Flash, nice. A Flash of Iron. Forging, no, Athletics... Yeah, Athletics will be good. I believe that it will be very nice to be able to run slightly faster on the battlefield. Ten looters, are they gonna... Are they... Okay, so they're just patrolling. Fine. Wait, those guys will be a bit more of a challenge. Let's do one more battle for this episode and check in with... What was his name? Hazel? How far are they? Wow, that, I mean, the battle maps are larger, I guess, but that makes things spawn much further. Oh, and there's also, uh, if you can see on the top left, there's a, um, not a force modifier, what is it called? Uh, basically it shows the, um, strength of each side, like, right now we're about the same. Meaning that as we start killing them, it should start getting greener and greener. Or as they start killing us, it should start getting redder and redder, just like that. Ouch.
Alright, so... That went r relatively well. We lost two, but... Alright, so we got a few things. I'll be taking that. Thank you. I know that these things will not be worth that much, but since we went through the trouble of... Do I take stones at least to have something to throw at people? <laughs> Until we get arrows? I mean, it's a good thing. Uh, thanks to the inventory management we took, we can take all of this and sell it. We can also upgrade some of our men. Uh, skirmisher and Spearman. And let me just check... Uh, no, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted reports. That's the one. Troop trees. Uesugi. What is the elite Uesugi? Okay, so skirmishers are their strongest uh, Ashigata units. Alright. Good to know. Uh, wait, no, I misclicked. Ugh. All right, first things first, let's head to the goods merchant. Sell all of this not-so-beautiful loot. But we are actually getting some money out of it. I mean, a hundred golds, a hundred gold. Uh, Mon, sorry. Oh, Nigiri Meshi. Okay, so they added some new food types. Daikon, <laughs> nice. That's basically uh, radish, I believe. Brown rice, mikang. It, it looks like bread, but mikan means, um, and I guess when you look closer, it does look kind of like a tangerine, right? Uh, so miso soup, sake, excellent. So you can, so you can actually, nowadays you can actually have sake in your inventory to increase the morale of uh, men. I believe that previously you could only buy sake to, um to organize feasts if not might have been something that was just completely uh that i was just so completely used to that i didn't really notice could also be that goze hana hazel okay so that's a new sound and i believe it is from shogun to total war good choice excellent You've hired enough men to take on any country samurai, especially if they don't know you're coming. Now, travelers entering Niigata have told us that there is one waiting outside of town with a small group of retainers. I peeked at them myself and I'm certain that this is one that this one that this one is employed by the same people that 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 took Horembo. Hunt him down and defeat him and make him disclose the location of his master. Very well, I will capture this samurai. I know that this part is still the easy part. The hard part will be when we have to attack the hideout, as we learned previously. Enter the arena, let me just introduce myself. Good day, friend. If you have come to watch the tournaments, you've come in vain. There won't be a tournament here anytime soon. Tournaments? So they hold the tournaments here? Yes. You should see this place during one of the tournament fights. Everyone from the town and nearby villages comes here. The crowd becomes mad with excitement. Anyway, as I said, there won't be an event here soon, so there isn't much to see. Except there is an official duel every now and then, and of course we have melee fights most every day. Tell me about the melee fights. The Ashigaru and Samurai get bored waiting for the next tournament, so they have invented the training melee. It is a simple idea, really. Fighters jump into the arena with a weapon. There are no rules, no teams. Everyone beats at each other until there is only one fighter left standing. Sounds like fun, eh? <laughs> uh, can I join too? Alright, uh, actually, I'll just get out. Can I? I need to leave now, thank you. Alright guys, so this is where we will make the cut for our first episode. Next episode, we will be attacking the Samurai Traveling Party and hopefully, well not hopefully, we'll, we will get the information about the quote-unquote brother that got kidnapped. Uh, and hopefully, we get some additional men, additional training. If nothing else, I'll just go about and defeat some looters in order to uh, increase our experience and upgrade our troops enough to take down the hideout in our first try this time. <laughs> I'm still haunted by the fact that I couldn't 
defeats all of the kidnappers in the original playthrough. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, if you like what I do, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to know when the next video is up. Uh, and be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the, uh, the new Let's Play. Let me think... let me know what you think I should do if you've uh, any experience with this mod from before uh, and know of any new additional f functions I guess that this mod does possess please let me know and I'll be sure to check them out as always guys ad glorium